Okay, so I'm back on the PWM circuit here. Um, what I'm doing differently this time is I don't have a PD PWM feeding the power rail. I guess the easiest way to look at it is I'm coming off the dis discharge of a 555 pulse width modifier, modulator rather, and I'm going through a super fast uh, high voltage diode and then I'm through that pulsing the gate of a MOSFET which is basically opening up a ground circuit for the um, for the flip-flop okay now it would probably make sense to use uh, a p-channel instead of an n-channel and think of it more like that than to do what I'm doing with an n-channel but whatever it, it does work but I think there's a reason why you would want to do that with a p-channel MOSFET instead of an n-channel MOSFET the way I'm doing it but anyway it does work and that lead over there is just my indicator for frequency now you can see quite a lot of flickering in this video but in real life it's actually not um, it's actually not per uh, how would you say it I can't perceive the flickering so that's probably at around you know 50 frames per second or something I don't know I'll have to get my scope out and have a look at it but I can't see it in normal real life so that's the light that I'm getting right now which is fairly dim um, you can see the ceiling is just barely illuminated with two up and one across two down but it's fairly reasonable not bad and um, that's at uh, that's at about 180 now I'll turn on the main light so we can see that a little better yeah that's about 180 now it will continue to oscillate let's see how low I can drop it okay so you can see my lights are still on and it'll continue to oscillate right down actually gets to a point where it sort of jumps around so it'll continue to oscillate at about oh I would say 70 milliamps is where I've got it this time around had it a little lower with my other setup but this setup's much more stable too because what happened last time was I would get insig I would get clashes between the frequency of um, the way you know again I'm not an electrical engineer but there was the way it wanted to oscillate compared to how I was feeding it power before was very unstable but now that it's actually at least part of the same circuit like the flip-flop is grabbing its positive from positive there's no rheostat no linear voltage uh, control so now when I dial it up it's smooth and I can dial it right up you can see alright I can take it right up to where a commercial inverter would be running it almost uh, I will say that it does seem to have an overall limit it, it ends up being a little weaker um, okay but the most important thing to me is that when I look at these lamps and I dial it back I can get a really nice sort of happy medium like I'm at about let's say about well we'll go down to 300 here I'm right at about 300 milliamps and when you look at the light that that provides it's adequate right you know the whole room is lit up I got four bulbs so you know of course these could be in the four corners of the ceiling if I wanted and it would 
create a better illumination but I mean I can see my way around if I was in a cabin I could cook and have one desk lamp the whole nine yards being AC power they can be ran out and everything is stone cold there's nothing that has any heat at all because there's no linear regulation and there's no clamping on the voltage so I'll run it for a while and we'll see but uh, I'm pretty happy with that it's you know everybody ridiculed me privately in other forms not so much on energetic form because they're pretty open-minded there but in, in electronics forms when I asked for some help nobody just everybody just kinda told me oh well you'd be far better off to start with a with a commercial product and then try to add a function and you know you'll just set stuff on fire and but you know what actually works pretty good and the flickering that you see I don't see so there you have it can be done if you're interested let me know and I'll pass what I got uh, my numbers and my uh, resistor values and caps they could all use work I realize that I mean I have not done any math I've just played with it until I got something that wasn't flashing and was controllable with a potentiometer and wasn't having points where I'd see the current avalanching through the transistors or MOSFETs but there you have it it, it, it does work it can be done thanks for watching